Posh Life. Happy New Year! It has been a few weeks since I've seen you all and I am so excited to be back with a new do for the new year. I'm still getting used to it. Um, but today's video is a fun one. I am talking about Valentine's Day, specifically Valentine's Day for my girls and what I am going to be putting in their Valentine's Day little present gift basket. So stay tuned. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, I have two little girls, a two-year-old and a four-year-old. So uh, today's video is just gonna jump right into what I'm getting them for Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day in the holiday hierarchy comes after birthday, after Christmas, after Easter. So it's kind of lowest on the totem pole in terms of gift giving. It's just meant to be a little token of I love you, cute little surprise, nothing that breaks the bank, nothing over the top. That's how I view it. It's, it's to me not the same scale as what I do for them for Easter or in, in nowhere near the same scale for birthday or Christmas. So typically what I do is I read the Target um, Bullseye's Playground, Dollar Spot, or I go to um, the Dollar Tree and kind of see what's there or Walmart. So in the past, those are some of the places that I've hit. Um, to just get a couple of little things to put in a basket. And in my opinion, a lot of it is, it's the presentation. If you put it together in a cute way, they're gonna love it. And it's just a little cute, cute couple of things that they like, uh, that you know they're gonna like, a few little treats. Um, so, without further ado, what's in the basket? Ta-da! Isn't this adorable? So, this basket is from the Dollar Tree, and I got it for obviously a dollar. Um, and it was the only Valentine's Day colorish container that I found there. Um, so I jazzed it up a little bit by just buying some foam stickers from the Dollar Tree and just decorating the front of it so that it looks really cute. And what I like about it is I can reuse this container every year. Uh, or if one year I choose to use a different container, I can take the stickers off of this and just use this for a different purpose. But I do think that I'm going to use this every year. Last year I did gift bags, and for toddlers, gift bags are interesting. They tend to kind of, A, the, it's hard to make the stuff inside the gift bag peek out of it to kind of create that fun, cute surprise. And also they tend to rip the bag apart. So this I think is much more durable. It allows me to present this in a really cute way. Um, and I can use it year after year. So this is the container. This is what all this stuff looks like. This is um, my two-year-old's basket or container, Valentine's Day container. Um, so let me just quick show you what's inside hers. So she's got this little cute Valentine's Day giraffe and it's cute, it has little heart ears. And I got this at Bullseye's Playground at Target and it was $3. Then, choo choo choo. I got this water wow notepad and this was probably the big splurge. It was about five dollars um, and they really out of all the stocking stuffers they got they really liked the magic notepad or when you color it it shows up but if you color anywhere else it doesn't show up you know exactly what I'm talking about I can't think of the word for it and I have seen these in a lot of different videos on YouTube and I thought you know I think they're really gonna like this little magic pad too where they can use water and look like they're painting but it'll only show up on here and the colors will automatically come in. And what I like about this is that it is reusable. So once the paint dries, it dries clear, so then you can paint all over again. So this is something that isn't a one-time use. They can use it multiple times because they found like the other one that was coloring. Once they colored everything in, they didn't get to use it again and they were really sad because they really liked it. So I am gonna do more of that in the future with the Magic Barker. But um, I thought that this was another cute one. Then, reusing party favors. So I still had a bunch of these left over in different characters from my uh, four-year-old's birthday party in December. So for my two-year-old, I picked the Shimmer and Shine one to show her this time because she's really obsessed with Shimmer and Shine right now. Um, so I thought she'd like to make a little necklace and this was at the Target dollar spot and I picked it up in the fall. And again, I just have a bunch of them left over from party favors. So anytime I'm doing gifts for my kids, I raid my party favor stash and I raid my kind of craft bins to see what stickers, what little dollar store, dollar tree items I've picked up over the last few months and I tend to stick it in there. So you'll see a couple of things reused. <laughs> um, so that is one of them. This was also something that party favor stash, I still had a bunch of them left over from actually from Christmas and just said they love fruit snacks. I'm sticking it in here. 
Also got this little necklace from the Dollar Tree. It came in a pack of three. So um, my two-year-old has the red one that just says, I love you. And it's a little plastic necklace that has this little clasp on it. So they like costume jewelry and, and that sort of thing. So she'll enjoy it. I also got this little ball. And what's nice about it is it lights up. So um, they saw this at Target maybe a week or two ago, picked it up and had to pry it out of their hands as we were leaving the store and said, no, no, we're not getting this. And I thought, you know, they really like this. So this is something that I got. It's got little sparkles on the inside and stars on the outside. And this was a dollar. Then I got these little cute socks from the Dollar Tree. This bracelet was in my party favor stash from, I think, a fairy garden party two years ago. <laughs> and I still have fairy garden bracelets. Uh, and I'll explain why I have this one for her. So she's got a little bracelet. This is kind of a utility item that really doesn't need to be in this basket. But hey, if we're tossing stuff in this basket, I'm tossing everything in. And this was at the Target Dollar Spot for $1. And it is just a purple sparkly fork and spoon set. Um, they could use some new utensils. I tend to get purple things for my two-year-old, so I thought this purple sparkly spoon and fork would be great. Cute little addition for dinner. For candy, I got this little heart lollipop. They both love lollipops. They don't get them often, so it really is a special treat when they're able to get something sweet. As you can see, I really didn't pack this with a bunch of sweets at all. But this is their sweet treat, aside from the gummies, uh, which is a little lollipop. And I got this at Target, and this was, I think, $1.89. And it has a little plastic handle, and there's a little love note in there. So I have no idea what it says, but there's a cute little message inside the um, straw, or this, the handle of the lollipop. Um, this is really random, but it was at, I want to say Target, maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I think this was at Target or somewhere else. Either way, I thought it was cute. So I picked up a pack of tissues because it is the season for blowing noses and tissues. And I think they'll run, be less likely to run away from me when I'm trying to clean their nose if it's with a cute little heart tissue. At least that is the logic that I used when buying this is. Maybe they'll want to blow their little crusty noses if they have cute tissues. And then kind of the big item in here is this little game from the Target Dollar Spot called Where's My Bottom? It was $3, which I think is a great price, and I'm really trying to get them to focus on games and stuff that are either arts and crafts or game related when they are using their free time to play. So this was something that I thought was great. Um, and it just is a bunch of different sets of cards and you have to match the front of the animal with the bottom of the animal. So that's where it's, where is my bottom? And this is ages three and up, but I think my two year old will be fine with matching this. And it's a fun game for her and her sister. And they're obsessed with bottoms. I don't know if your toddler is obsessed with private parts, but my little girls spend an enormous amount of time talking about their booty, their booty butt. Uh, it's weird. So where's my bottom will be a fun game for them. They will enjoy that. So that is everything in my two-year-old's Valentine's Day basket. I think she's gonna love it. Um, and I think it's just a cute little way to give them some treats to look forward to kind of between major holidays. Whenever I see these little holidays, I look at it as an opportunity to give them something special because we do not buy treats and presents for them unless it's an occasion. So this is an occasion that I can do something simple and cute. So this is the basket. For my four-year-old, looks very much the same, Dollar Tree basket, little glittery um, foam stars from the Dollar Tree. And then this is what is in hers. I'm going to go through that one pretty quickly because a lot of the stuff is the same. So the stuff that are the same, she also has the Water Wow, um, and it's the fairy, the fairy Tale Water Reveal pal, um, Pad. So that is hers. She also has this little spoon and fork set from the Dollar Tree, or from, I'm sorry, Target Dollar Spot, and this was a dollar, and she has the red sparkly one. She got a frozen make your own necklace set, and this was again from our party favor stash, so we already had it. She has a pair of little heart socks that I got from Dollar Tree. 
little pink necklace that says I love you and this came in that set of three from it actually came from Walmart and I want to say it was 97 cents or a dollar and, and again this is the pink one she got a little hmm, her ball is harder to make it light up but she has a little heart ball with glitter and sparklies and I mean I hope she has one that works because otherwise it's gonna be battle royale in my house but um, she has a little ball too she has the same little pack of fruit snacks, pack of tissues. She has the same little heart lollipop. And then she has this cute little koala. So this is Casey, I believe. Um, yes, Casey. Um, and she is a cute little beanie boo. And she's a koala and my four-year-old right now her favorite animal is a koala she's really loving koalas keeps talking about it we don't have any stuffed animals that are koalas so um when i saw this online i just had to order it so this was i probably overpaid for this i'm not even going to tell you what i paid for this it's it's not worth it it was not three dollars but um it was cute and it was small i didn't want to get any large stuffed animals because then i'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it so i wanted something small that she could put on her bed and that wasn't going to create unnecessary mess around the house so we got casey the koala and then she got for her kind of big item in there she got at a game as well and it's called wash my underpants and this is also from the target dollar spot and it was three dollars uh, and I think she's going to like this as well because, again, as I mentioned, they're obsessed with, like, underwear, booty, all this different stuff. So <laughs> I think it's going to be fun, and it's be the first to collect nine pairs of clean underpants, spin the hour to see which color to put in the wash, and when the spinner tells you your underpants are clean, take them out wash, take them out of the washing machine and put them in your basket. So I think that this is going to be great for her. She's a little bit older. I think she's going to be able to follow the instructions and use the spinner. Um, so this is going to be in her little Valentine's Day basket. So that is everything. The only item that is not in the basket that you're also going to get is a book every single holiday, no matter what it is. I always include a book for them to read. Um, I'm an avid reader and I really want them to enjoy reading and I really like to use these opportunities to add things to their book collection. So both of them will get a Valentine's Day book. Um, I ordered it from the little scholastic newspapers that you get at school. Their preschool has those um, monthly or quarterly. So when the January edition came out with all the Valentine's Day books in it, I ordered a book for both of them from there. So um, my older daughter will have a Peppa Pig book and it comes with um, a little bracelet, which is why she does not have a bracelet in her thing. And then um, my little one has a little Valentine's Day book. I don't think it's one of the main character books or anything, but it's a cute little Valentine's Day book. So when that comes in, I will also tuck those little books in their basket. But then that is everything that they are getting. So I am really excited. I think that they're going to enjoy it. Um, and they're going to look forward to just a special treat time of day wise because Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday. Likely what I will do is do it in the evening and not in the morning because then it's going to be really hard to pry this stuff out of their hands to get them to preschool. So I think our best bet is going to be to give it to them in the evening when we get home and then they can play with this stuff and kind of explore it while, while I make dinner. So that is the game plan. I'm excited to hear what are you guys giving to your kids for Valentine's Day? Do you give your kids anything for Valentine's Day? My husband is in charge of the cards. He does an amazing job picking cards. So he will be getting all the ladies a card and um, some flowers or something like that. So that is his world. He picks out special cards and he is one that he is not a romantic in terms of like, he's not going to be Casanova to whispering sweet nothings in your ear. That ain't going to happen. But he uses cards to say what he's feeling. So his cards are always amazing because they say things that he does not usually say to you verbally. <laughs> so we always look forward to his cards and he always just does an amazing job with them. So he has decided he wants to do the cards for everybody. So he's going to get the cards for the girls and myself. So that is everything. But again, comment down below if there's any ideas that you guys thought of, what you do for your kids. I do have some items for them for school. And um, I may quick show them to you, so sit tight. Okay, I'm back. So here is 
what I got for the girls to bring to daycare, preschool, for their classmates. I kept it simple this year. I did not get into Pinterest stuff. I did not try to do anything creative. So I actually just took the easy way out with daycare this year. So for my two-year-old's class, I really try to stay away from candy um, because they're two and every parent is different and a lot of the parents don't want to give their kids candy and I certainly do not want to be the person bringing something that they're not going to be able to eat anyway and their parents are just going to take away. So she has Peppa Pig because Peppa Pig is still huge in our house. We're going on like a year and a half strong. So it has 32 Valentines with 32 stickers and then these are the kind of different types of Valentines. And then I bought this box of um, Annie's Fruit Bunnies. Um, so, uh, each one will have one of these little fruit snacks attached to it, and that is what will be in my two-year-old's class, which she's going to give to all of her classmates. And then for my four-year-old, which if I was going to get creative, that's who I would probably try to do it with, but I just, honestly, 2018 has been kicking my butt. <laughs> I have not had a lot of time. So this is it. The box is Peppa Pig and it's a little Valentine and then it has an insert for you to stick the, the um, lollipop. So with her four year olds I did give candy too but I just did these little lollipops and it has a little Peppa Pig um, Valentine. So these are the cards and then these are the lollipops and there are 28 in a pack so more than enough for her class. I think she's only got like 12 or 14 kids in there. So. That is what I did for my daughters to take to school that day and that works out well because they have a whole like little Valentine's exchange where 14 kids are going to bring different stuff to fill up their bags with so they're going to come home with just a ton of candy and different things. So that is everything. Um, thanks so much for joining for this video. I am excited about uh, Valentine's Day. Again, comment down below if you have any ideas, suggestions, what you did for your kids, what you're planning on doing. Um, and where you found some good deals. Again, most of this stuff I found at Dollar Tree or at Target Dollar Spot or Walmart. But I'm um, anxious to hear what you guys are doing. Uh, and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!